We're going to dive deep into the history and value of the 1973 United States one cent coin, also known as the Lincoln cent. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just curious about the coins in your pocket, you're in the right place. Let's get started. The one cent coin, often called the penny, has been an important part of American coinage for over a century. The 1973 Lincoln cent is part of a long running series that began in 1909, commemorating the 100th anniversary of President Abraham Lincoln's birth. This design featuring Lincoln's profile on the obverse was the first time a U.S. president appeared on a regular issue coin. On the reverse of the coin, from 1959 to 2008, you'll find the Lincoln Memorial replacing the earlier wheat stock design. It's a design that's familiar to many as it circulated widely for decades. Now let's talk about what the 1973 cent is made of. Like many other coins from this period, the 1973 penny is composed of 95% copper and 5% zinc. This was standard for pennies until 1982 when the U.S. Mint switched to a primarily zinc composition to reduce costs. The obverse or head side of the coin features the iconic profile of President Abraham Lincoln designed by Victor David Brenner. Brenner's initials, VDB, can be seen at the bottom of Lincoln's shoulder, though these initials were a point of controversy when the design first debuted in 1909. On the reverse side, the Lincoln Memorial stands tall, designed by Frank Gasparro. If you look closely at this side of the coin, you can even see the tiny figure of Lincoln seed inside the memorial, an impressive detail for such a small coin. There were millions of 1973 pennies minted, but it's important to know where your coin was minted to get an idea of its rarity or value. The 1973 penny was produced at three different mints, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. But if your coin has no mint mark, it was minted in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Mint produced about 3.7 billion of these pennies, so it's by far the most common version. The Denver Mint produced over 3.4 billion pennies, marked by a small D under the date. Finally, the San Francisco Mint made proof coins in 1973, marked with an S. These proof coins, with a mintage of just over 2.7 million, were struck with extra care for collectors and typically have a mirror-like finish. Now for the big question, what is the 1973 penny worth today? Well, like most coins, the value depends on its condition and rarity. Because there were billions of these coins produced, most circulated 1973 pennies are worth their face value, just one cent. However, uncirculated or mint condition pennies can be worth more to collectors. For example, an uncirculated 1973 Philadelphia penny could be worth anywhere between 10 to 50 cents. A pristine example, especially one graded by a professional service like PCGS or NGC, could fetch even higher prices, possibly up to $10 or more. Proof coins from the San Francisco Mint tend to be the most valuable. A 1973 S proof penny in perfect condition might be worth $1 to $5 depending on its quality. Condition coins in pristine, uncirculated condition are always worth more than those that are worn from circulation. Mint mark proof coins from San Francisco tend to be more valuable than those from Philadelphia or Denver. Error, some rare error coins can be worth a lot. Look out for things like off-center strikes or double die errors. A penny with a major error could be worth hundreds of dollars. To determine if your 1973 penny is valuable, start by checking its condition. If it looks almost brand new, it might be worth sending to a coin grading service. You can also compare it to online resources or coin catalogs to get an idea of its market value. So that's a wrap on the 1973 one cent coin. While most of these pennies won't make you rich, they're still a fascinating piece of American history. If you have a 1973 penny in great condition or a rare air coin, it could be worth more than just a cent. Let's talk about the 1984 Washington quarter specifically. It follows the same design as earlier quarters on the obverse. We have George Washington's profile designed by John Flanagan. The reverse features the iconic eagle with spread wings perched on a bundle of arrows with two olive branches below. Designer John Flanagan, obverse George Washington, reverse eagle. B-roll of coins being minted at a factory followed by an image of mint marks D, P, S. The 1984 Washington Quarter was minted at three different locations, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The mint mark can be found on the right side of Washington's bust on the obverse. Here's the breakdown of mint marks for 1984. No mint mark Philadelphia mint. D, Denver mint. Yes, San Francisco mint for proof coins, 1984 quarter mintage. Philadelphia, no mint mark, 676,545,000. Denver D, 546,483,067. San Francisco S proof 3065 110 the 1984 Washington quarter is made of a copper nickel clad composition. This means that the coin has a core of pure copper with outer layers of copper nickel alloy. The composition and weight were standardized back in 1965 when the US mint transitioned away from silver quarters. Metal composition. Outer layer 75% copper, 25% nickel. Core 100% copper. Weight 5.67 grams. 
Now let's talk about whether the 1984 Washington quarter is a rare or common coin. The truth is, this quarter is considered common in circulated condition due to the high minage numbers. Most of the coins found in circulation today are worth face value minus 25 cents. However, if you come across a coin in uncirculated or mint state condition, it may hold more value, especially for collectors. One of the most exciting things about coin collecting is finding error coins, and the 1984 Washington quarter has a few known errors that are sought after by collectors. Look out for these errors. Off-center strikes if the design is not properly centered. This can increase the coin's value. Double die from 1984 quarters show a doubling effect, especially noticeable on the lettering or Washington's profile. 1984 Washington quarter key errors. Off-center strike value can range from $10 to $50. Double die obverse value ranges from $30 to $200 depending on condition. So how much is a 1984 Washington quarter worth today? Let's break it down based on condition. Circulated condition, most 1984 quarters you'll find in pocket change are worth face value just 25 cents. Uncirculated condition, if the coin is in mint state, it can be worth between $2 to $10. Proof coins, these are specially made for collectors and can be worth anywhere from $3 to $5. Error coins, as we discussed earlier, these can range from $10 to over $200 depending on the type of error and its rarity. 1984 Washington quarter value. Circulated $0.25. Uncirculated $2.10. Proof three five dollars. The error is ten two hundred dollars. And there you have it. The nineteen eighty four Washington quarter may be a common coin, but with a little bit of knowledge, you can find some valuable variations. Whether you're starting your coin collection or just checking your pocket change for errors, this quarter is a great one to learn from. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more coin value breakdowns, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.